What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to round off what happened last time, we picked, we have, well we are going to lead siege to Rome, and the reason why this is a big deal is because if we take Rome, then this force that sat here by Venice can swing west and lay siege to Genoa, and this force can push up and hit Milan, and then we can really drive across northern Italy and open up a southern flank against Prussia. Which would be pretty advantageous. I mean, the, the thing I'm not looking forward to trying to tackle is uh, Stuttgart. But that'll be a, that'll be a typical, you know, attack and capture the city before they have a chance to bring in reinforcements. Um, but before I get too bothered in what's going on in other parts of my empire, let us capture the Roman city, if the Roman city of Rome. And that also means this force here gets uh, this force here dissolves as they melt into the countryside and then we can continue our advance but yeah we've got a pretty good force here including our heavy artillery i think that's this is our first application of heavy artillery against actual fortifications um but yeah let's go and take them out the force is not one to be particularly concerned about it does have a lot of there's lots of militia and uh, irregular cavalry involved so I'm not that bothered about the troops we have to defeat I mean they don't have copious amounts of guards or melee infantry to make me a bit squiffy but let's form a mighty gun battery Come on, there we go deploy our howitzers then we've got Okay, so the Bashis, the Feliin, the Janus, the Grenadiers. And these men are going to go up the wall. I'm not going to do any silly hiding shenanigans like last time. Uh, let's go and pick up my infantry. Cavalry and camels can hunker down. Same with my general. I do want to make two breaches. Take him out. You go after the unit of line. You go after the unit of arms. Oh, good stuff. I mean, they're firing at us. It looks like they're going to blow as many holes in their walls as they, <laughs> as, as we're going to, because they cannot. Are they actually actually shooting at us? I mean, if they fired once, then they're going to stop. Just about clear. The walls. That's pretty damn awesome. In which case, then, let's probably push men up to try and change the uh, trajectory a bit. But if they don't watch out, they are going to see both of their, uh, both of these crossing points destroyed. And their army be trapped above the gates. They're still hitting our infantry, that's pretty, pretty impressive. Obviously my quicklime's got something to say about them. Take out that section of the wall. Keep hitting those. These. Uh, get one to hit the firelock arm citizenry. Hey, they do have some artillery deployed outside. Are there mortars engaging? Well, damn. Mortars are firing. Let's get up. citizenry have been knocked out. <sighs> See if my guys can just shoot with their guns inside the fort. I doubt it, but... Just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. 
these giant sea musketeers, I mean, they've got some yeah, carabiners deployed outside. They're not a concern. Could switch to round shot. But to be honest, I think I'm probably still okay with using with using quick climb. There's still there's still enough stuff nearby work to make it worthwhile. Although my guys aren't shooting. Actually, let's pick up. Yeah, if you want to charge out, do it. These guys can come and deal with the artillery over here. The Bashis are going to secure the gatehouse. This Nizam are going to secure this gatehouse. These guys are going to hunker down. You know, like if they do push out, then we've just got some. Get all my artillery to instead engage the breach. Yeah, regiment of horse have been routed. Carabiners are trying to engage us through the fortifications. It looks like we can lure their cavalry out. Yeah, you guys are going completely not the direction you were told to go, but whatever. Guys aren't even in the right, facing the right directions. Destroyed. They've destroyed their uh, capital, a bit of their uh, armory. Charge my bashies in. Your fellow Ian. Uh, actually, no, you go here. Shannon Street Musketeers can engage the carabiners. You guys make ready. The Bashi Bazooks want to play. Now these men begin the charge. You guys stop firing at will. the armed citizenry. You guys are going to charge down the field artillery regiment. I didn't anticipate these guys doing so. Uh, aim at them, please. Stop our field artillery from firing, get our hearts just to keep engaging in the center, sort of. Ah, we can storm through the central gate. Indeed. Bashing on a great time with the carabiners. Felina are doing pretty good.
good. Finally, they're engaging the carabiners. Well, they're wondering, like, why are they doing so badly against the carabiners? Chasing down the dragoons. My howitzers are still firing, so let's turn them off. Killed the enemy general. Eh, he goes back in. Who's remaining? It's still the general staff in the centre. You guys charge the militia. Get our cavalry in there as well. There we go. And they've broken. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was taken in a matter of minutes. Oh, we lost a building. It must have been from some unit routing up the walls and they retook the gate. There we go, we lost 700 men. The city is ours. Let us repair, rebuild, replenish. You're on your way down to Naples to help convert the population. Let's upgrade the farms and the industry here. destroy this seminary. Let's pick up a sloop to occupy the port. Don't worry, this army is going to be replenished, repurposed and sent towards Cagliari. Understandably they are upset and they're going to be probably a bit more upset when we knock down the uh, the uh, their religious building. But you guys push on they seize the Genoa, new men push into Milan, likely demand the surrender of the town because we have no garrison. Replenish the building, let's grade the infantry. I likely cannot just push straight out. So Tunis is ours, you're on the way to Algiers. Do you have reinforcements? Okay, what I do want to do is A, get a steam dried up, deploy this navy to have a look at what Spain's doing on them. This island. They still have no port, which is good. Not bothered about what the Genoa navy's going to do. Let's go raid Marseille. Okay, we do have a mild Swedish breakout to the north, but we are hedging our bets quite well. Up here in actual Swedish territory. Push it. Okay, let's push you guys up to the crossing. These armies need to, well, really need to start pushing men out. If you're in good nick, you could probably go hit Ored. London? Uh, they've they've already been fought. Okay. Just auto resolve that. New men are pushing up. Go and engage Wilhelm Wilhelm Yossi. They've already been fought as well. Let's auto resolve that. Reinforce, let's upgrade the Iron Master's works. Send my boats up here to raid Umea one more time. Then probably sail down towards Copenhagen. First to raid Lubeck and then to sit in Aarhus to prevent Swedish trade. I think what I'm probably going to do is take Damat Heyredin. Attack Algiers and destroy this Swedish garrison coming up 
for reinforcement, because this is good Islamic territory to take. There won't be as many problems from the civilians as we as we may witness uh, attacking across northern Italy. But we will still fight against Genoa. If we take Genoa, then that is Genoa uh, eliminated from the game. So. My two is going to stay where it is and trundle forward. I don't know, maybe up here. Okay, up here and trundle forward might be best to get a good unrestricted field of view. Let's get my Cairo Janissaries and my Cairo Infantry Guards in the centre of my army. And that provides three units of Israeli on either flank. can sit back here and just open fire on who you think fit. I'm going to deploy all of my mounted troops on the left, general in the centre, and let's see if deployment screws us over. No. I was curious if the uh, reinforcements were going to come in from a funny angle. push up most of my men. Come on. Okay, moments like this is where the definitions of brigades start to become a bit less clear. Because you line your men up, and then suddenly, you know, oh, these guys are actually part of, you know, these guys, these Cairo Janissaries are now in a good position to actually be on the edge and start to flank. So I'm probably not going to want to keep them isolated. Well, I'm probably then going to take these guys, even though they've already fired, and push up. pivot them so they can fire into the flank. My field artillery up here is in range so I'm limber. We get some good shots on the flank of these militia warriors. There come the reinforcements. I am afraid they are not going to uh, protect the troops as they stand. These militia look like they're going to make it into our lines. The 91st quarter. Get some good fire onto the militia. The general is riding heroically into our lines. Field artillery engage the reinforcements. The general's bodyguard is going to get shot off his horse. Well, the general got shot off his horse there, yeah. Okay, you are engaging the desert warriors at least. Oh, those militia got hit hard. Advance the Cairo Janissaries. Advance these men. Point blank range. They're only skirmish troops, so I don't think they're going to be too much of a concern. Okay, let's start to straighten out these this battle line a bit more. 
keep providing that mutual support. Pick new artillery targets. I mean, lots of these guys are militias and irregular troops. So, to be honest, let's hot fire with these infantry. Pivot you guys around. Charge my camels into the combat. Thank Christ, those quick climb shots came in before I deployed all my troops. Okay. Got ourselves a bit of a charge on this flank. Which unit is this? The 89th Auto. Keep engaging. Keep engaging. Beautiful. Deploy. My Nizam. Start to harry the troops leaving the battlefield. Just because everyone's. <laughs> yeah. They're falling back. God, look at this. It's, it just completely folded. Is Nizam go for the Amazons? They are going to get the first volley off, but it's not going to help them. Blow my camels start to interdict routing troops. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a route. It's a route. Come on, camels, go go go! Howitzers switch to round shot because there's not much point worrying about maximizing my quick line. You guys open up on whoever you need fit. Start to surround those Amazons. Start to walk the rest of my army, if possible, up into a giant line like so. Aha! Amazons to the north. More desert warriors. Lowest cavalry charge ever. They're encouraged because they're on the high ground. And the camels don't care about that. They're on camels. It's all eyes on the 25th Regiment of Militia. Get to start nailing my general forward. Actually, charge more towards the middle. Got a feeling the 25th will not stand stand under all this uh, enemy fire for too long. There they go. Okay, let's speed up time. Damn right we're going to continue. Look how many men there are on the field. Stop my artillery fire, just stop a bit of fratricide. Deploy my camels to attack anyone, to be honest. Stop you guys from firing. Ah, uh, they routed. They're going to successfully route. Good. Oh, there's one unit all the way over there. 
let them well. We're going after the 27th Regiment. Stop my... No. My heart says uh, we're still firing, but it doesn't matter. Oh, they got... They got annihilated. So they have routed. They are? Yeah, they're over there in the dockyard. We have a priest over here. Let's re rebuild the garrison. Let's build... Let's trap into a madrasa to start to uh, counter... Ooh, there's another army to the south as well. Just, uh, so, build up madrasa to counter their Protestant filth. Um, so we're not at war with Savoy, but in one fell swoop we will destroy them. You're replenishing. You're hunkering down. You're replenishing, because you need reinforcements. You're rebuilding an army. Ah, okay. Right, right, right. So, Dresden, let's pick up some... Pick up some troops to push forward to support this army at Hanover. You're in a good position because I want you just to hold the river you're in a good position blocking passage eastward you're marching towards Stockholm I can't do much over here with not within range combine these troops upgrade the port uh, sit them in St Petersburg and let's pick up some troops because I want to start to build up this guy, Musa Mehmet, into another force to sail around and either land and hit Copenhagen or hit Christiana. But what I'm going to do is take Abdul Hamid Hoka and attack. I mean, I was going to, you know, I'll do this in the next episode, but because most of their troops, the actual troops here, are damaged, I'm just going to fight it now. So let's take out Genoa. They do have a large amount of reinforcements coming in. So, the likelihood is I am not going to do much quick climbing. I am probably going to uh, make the breach. Make, well, attempt to make the breach while my troops, my assault troops, are coming in. I don't think there's much point in trying to quick climb them when they're only about 80 strong out of a unit of. Like. If it's line, it's 225. If it's militia, it's 338, so I think. For, not militia, for conscripts. Just make multiple ways in. So then let's put some sec burns and some line infantry to run through the, the front door. And then the remaining infantry, like I said, are just going to come storming in immediately. They're not even going to wait. Because there's no point. Because, yeah, they've just not got many men at all. Footline 92 men, 104, 92, 113, like now. Put this Israeli unit to cover the breach. Let's get an Israeli unit up there, get a Janus Musketeer unit up, get a Janus Grenadier unit to take the rear gatehouse. Get an Israeli unit on the wall. We've got a few units ready take advantage of this rear gatehouse being secured. We've also got a unit of Israeli here. We're probably going to attack up here and cross over the bridge this way. Push our infantry block in one direction. Let's run our... push our cavalry over here, ready to take advantage. Although it looks like our howitzers aren't actually attacking that section of the wall. Okay, it's all focused on this section because it looks like they are deploying all of their men to respond to my assault. 
actually the smart thing to do. Yeah, my howitzers are aiming in the centre, even though I did give them an order. So the 36th Regiment. You'll have to hold the line. The battle winner here is going to be here. Take the gate, swarm in. Kill the infantry in the centre. Okay, what are you shooting at now? Okay, yeah, you're shooting at... Not. Increasingly, it seems like Empire's starting to decide that it does not want to shoot what I want them to shoot at. Three Musketeers. Engage! They're bad guys. You're the good guys. So have the have the howitzer since pivoted. Let's watch if they pivot. Okay, good. Gatehouse is ours. Two late regiment of horse. We're in. Let's probably run my cavalry up close here because I want to run them in quickly. Cavalry pushing out here, so deploying to square. You guys attack the seventh. Also push my infantry block close. Miss already doing good against the infantry. Just would just I would like to get this way in secured. should fall. Uh, my second bands can hit the regiment of horse. My infantry units can just continue to push around. Okay, there we go. No, not the card. Sec bands and pipes run in to secure their to secure the, uh, to pin the troops in place. These other troops actually line up like so. To secure the crossing. I mean, it looks like those guys have caught on to what I want to do. Run you guys down as well to attack cavalry there. All of our all our artillery has stopped firing. You're in a good square position there. Do not kill that unit, that man. He's on the floor. Just run past him. Don't kill him. Run on into the next guys. All of you guys run in. Fly them into square. These guys can just fire over towards the breach. Here come the reinforcements. These men abandon the walls. The 36th. 
to be honest, two sec, you guys might. You guys are utterly bad. the unit. Continue. Because yeah, they're going to start charging in a lot of cavalry. So the 36th are going to sit here in square formation. They've successfully held that the guys towards the middle of the breach, but to be honest it's not going to really matter. Because in 40 seconds the city is ours. general and the reinforcing general have come in. These guys are going to get a good charge off on the men at the bottom of the walls. But they seem to be attracted to the square formation. But it is all for naught. There we go. So Genoa is ours. We've only got to fight against the Savoy hordes. Genoa is destroyed. They've been eliminated from the game. Pick up a sloop. So we're now we're making great progress. So you guys, once they've replenished, I want to sail them over, hit Cagliari, probably declare on New Spain around oh actually, if I want to declare on New Spain, actually that's a good idea. Because then this army can land and secure Caracas immediately. Good stuff. Okay. Tunis is okay. Tripoli's cheering up. Savoy are made up of mainly just line infantry. They've got no artillery, thankfully. Paris is, has no one protecting them to the south. You can attempt to infiltrate Amsterdam. Okay, the next, well, this will be a big actual battle, because you have to fight all of these men. Actually, no, no, Württemberg has defences. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that this episode, I'm just going to let them, let them be them. So the Italian states have been destroyed, Genoa have been destroyed. Yeah, I'm going to hit end turn. And let's see how the end turn phase develops. They demand a military alliance, steam pump land drainage and 29 grand and they will offer an alliance and give us the Windward Islands. Hmm. Hmm. If I became their ally. No, I don't want to give them money. <laughs> um, the, reason, the main reason why it was it was intriguing to me was the idea that they would give me um, the Windward Islands. Yeah, they're pumping troops out. But I don't think it's going to be enough. They're not recruiting enough men to fulfil their obligations. Ooh, they're actually going to hit one of our navies. Ooh, I don't want to fight that. Uh, let's retreat. Yes! Just sit there blockading Alexandria, my, one of my least, least significant ports. I'm not overly concerned about fighting the Prussian Navy. Chiefly because we do have just buckets of cash and we're storming through Central Europe. So they're not going to be a problem for, for very long. I think they're all trying to desperately get their agent. Ooh, no, this would not. Yeah. Definitely do a 
doable. Definitely doable. Well, I mean, this army is depleted. That's strong, but it's the only strong unit. Strong army. They're strong, so those two probably equate to about a stack. Depleted, single unit, single unit. Hmm. Maybe it is worth doing, because that will kick all these guys out of Cologne. I think I'm going to do that. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this interception of Prussian troops. Cheers, everyone.